pollinate or perish. Hi, I'm Ken and this is Duo Hive. You know, about 18 months ago, I decided that I would like to become a beekeeper. Now, as a mechanical designer, manufacturing engineer, I have a need to understand all I can about a project I'm about to enter into. And I very quickly learned that there are many different types of honey, which is, of course, related to the type of nectar that bees collect and that the harvesting of the honey produced, in particular the pixotropic or jelly type honeys, can present quite a challenge. Okay, so necessity, I guess, being the mother of invention, I decided to try to design an easy to use beehive that could be used with the more fluid types as well as the jelly pixotropic types. And here we have it. When the super frames are full, we just turn the lever, open the tap, and out comes the beautiful clear honey with no or minimum disturbance to the hive. With the jelly or thixotropic honeys, we simply remove the stainless steel honeycomb frame and harvest in the traditional way by hand or in a simple centrifuge. Now, I've been concerned for some time about the use of plastics in food production. And uh, as such, I'm pleased to advise that there are no plastics other than the small taps used in Duo Hive. The aluminium and stainless steel allows for the honeycomb plates to be easily removed and used indefinitely. Okay, that's enough talk, so let's see how it works. What we're going to do is show you here. We open both sides of the viewing portals and make sure that the girls have done their job and filled the honeycomb. Now you'll notice I've moved this one away, there's no bees here it becomes a little bit hazardous sometimes. Okay, what we do now is select a tool from our special tool kit that comes with the hive. This is our opening tool. So now we take out the plug. Put that down there. Place the lever in. We go to the left. And then we go back to the right. And we leave the lever there. Okay, that has opened now the draining mechanism. We put our little shelf in place. Catch. Place a jar here. Turn on the tap. And we wait for the honey to come out and drain. Which it's not doing it. There it comes now. So there you go, beautiful clear honey. Look at that, there's no B parts, there's nothing at all coming out beautifully there. Now I'm going to turn that off then. When you've finished, all we do then is simply turn the tap off. Bring the, me bring the mechanism lever back to neutral as it were. Drop it back and put your plug into place. And then the girls are ready to fill the frames again. Okay, thank you so much for watching my little video on GeoHive. Cheers and happy beekeeping.